everyone welcome to makeup by dial i am so 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 sorry i know i've been off for like five weeks now but my life they've been terrible i've actually i think like three weeks ago two weeks ago and last week i shot videos but they were really really crappy and i wanted to try my best to bring a very quality one to you okay so today's look is uh inspired by selena gomez um uh, music video come and get it i think i've obviously changed a few things i think why i have this burnt orange eyeshadow she had something that was like a copper eyeshadow but the whole context of this look was inspired by that video so please stay tuned i hope you like it i'm going to achieve this look using this very cheap eyeshadow it's from nika k and this is what it looks like this colors I love these colors. I've primed my eyelid with the eye primer from BH Cosmetics. So right now I'm going to be taking my 212 blending brush from MAC. And to start this look, I'm going to go into the Sleek Palette. I'll be using as usual this shadow that I use as my transition color. This brown matte shadow. And I'll take that from the outer corner of the eye into the crease slightly below my brow bone and just bring that in next I'm going to be applying the darker shade of the brown the matte shadow also and that is going to come a little lower than the light brown we have up here and I'm just going to tap slightly just a little bit on this color that I have here the same 212 blending brush just a little dust off the excess and just bring that slightly above the crease just to soften the colors we have going on because we are still going to apply the black shadow Okay, so the next color we're going to apply is the main color on the crease, on the eyelid, sorry. And what I did was, uh, for the other eye, I used two brushes, two flat shader brushes. Uh, the first application was with a wet brush and I used my Fix Plus Spray from MAC to wet this brush. And I'll just tap that on gently on the lid to build the color up. Next thing I did was to now take the other brush dry. can already see the way it pops up. I'll just tap that slightly and then I'll take my 217 blending brush from MAC Cosmetics and just blend that slightly into what we have on the crease. This tapered blending brush and that's what I'm going to use to apply the black matte shadow the other outer corner of the lid and then I'll bring that into the crease gently and gradually just to build the smoky effect we have going on here and then going back to my 212 blending brush I'll take the other dark brown we used just blend that out. The next thing I'm going to do is to go back into my Nika K uh, little shadow and then I'll be taking a small detailer brush to take this peach color and place that on my tear dot. And then I'll draw it up into the crease just to create some light, to bring some light to the eye, so it's not dark all the way. Next, I'm going to wet this brush again with my Fix Plus Spray, and I'll be 
taking this eye dust from Sleek. I love this product a lot. It's highly pigmented. The shade of this eye dust is Glory. Glory. And I'll just tap that on. As you can see, next thing I'm going to do is to take this whole eyeliner from Zaron. It's called the Black Velvet, and I'll run that through my waterline. Next thing I'm going to be doing is to take a black gel liner, it's from MAC, the Black Track. And I'll be using a small angled uh, fiber brush to draw a line. And you want to draw this line as close to your lash line as possible. next thing I'm going to do is to take a very tiny shader brush not really tiny but a small shader brush and then I'm going to take uh, the darkest brown we have in this wet and wild vanity palette that will be this color because so, so, when I was applying my eyeliner the black liner to the waterline on purpose I smudged it out a little bit just to have that smoky effect going on on the lower lash line too but to create an ombre effect I'm going to be using this brush and this dark brown shadow to just blend that out a bit I'm almost done with the eye next thing I'm going to do I'll apply my lashes off camera and we'll be right back to finish up the remaining of the face thank you Okay, so I applied my lashes off camera and I used the Zara natural lash with the falsies. I also ran that through my lower lash line. As you can see, I've uh, applied my powder. Today I'm going to be blending two lipsticks together. I'm going to use my favorite lipstick from MAC, of course, the Ruby Woo. And I'm also going to be using this uh, cream, cream de nude. This is what it looks like. It's uh, a cream finish. A cream shame finish. I got this as a gift from one of my clients. I already lined my lips with this um, lip liner. This is what it looks like. It's a nude color. You can see that around my lip. Just to, uh, so what I'm going to do is to um, just stain my lip slightly with the ruby wool. And then I'm going to apply the cream de nude from MAC also. For my blush, I'm going to be going into the 26 color palette brushes. What I'm going to do is to blend this and this together. And I'll just toss that slightly. Okay. I believe this is a completed look. I hope you like it. Do not forget to rate this video. Don't forget to follow us on all our social networks on Twitter, on Instagram. I have a, a page on Fa I keep saying I have a face on Facebook. I have a page on Facebook. And uh, if there's any look you like to see, if there's anything you like us to do a tutorial on, please send me a mail. My mail and all my information is going to be in the comment box below. Thank you very much for your time. Have a lovely weekend, week, whenever it is you watch this video. Bye.